I don't know. All of them? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Filmed it! Hajime! It's been a couple weeks, like two weeks, and I told you it was going to be that long. I know I've been doing like depression, pole vault, like in the questions and answers, and uh, there's too much cool stuff's been happening to do the depression vlog this week. So I thought I'd just make another pole vault vlog. Next week I'll do a depression vlog since I'm going to be at a cabin, same cabin where all this crazy shenanigans stuff happened. So more shenanigans are probably going to happen again. A lot's happened in the last two weeks, so here is the Spark Notes two week version. So grab some popcorn and enjoy! Get ready Get for the ready awesomeness for the of the Spark, the spark Notes team, spark team. Spark hoot two week 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 Awesomeness. Okay, awesome. I started by pole vaulting. I did the Lenaro. Did some old pole vault drills. It helped my vault from four. But then I lost it and got frustrated. So then I went to Pennsylvania to promote Yeti coolers. In between that, we hiked and did the Appalachian Trail with my best buddy Sam. Got this sweet view and another sweet view. And make the vlog! America! <laughs> and then we took an All American picture. America, fuck yeah. Did more Yeti stuff. Went to the Strawberry Festival in Shartsville. It's Shartlesville, but we called it Shartsville. Because it smelled like sharts. <laughs> You felt like you had to be 60 years old to be in there. You had to get some old lady strawberry treats. We were told to try our darndest to finish them. And if we can't, we won't. We finished them, got <laughs> stomach aches. Strawberry festival. Went to this badass model town. <laughs> Pushed a lot of buttons. I'll stop pushing the button now. I took pictures next to Roadside America. <laughs> oh, I gotta fix your mouth, bud. There you go. Came home and scared the crap out of Carrie with some snakes. I found outside. Don't. <laughs> don't. <laughs> you don't want to touch it, do you? <laughs> Did a ropes course with my best buddy Brad and Carrie. I almost ripped my pants. You do you right line. now. You're gonna do it. You're gonna have a cool story to tell. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! We all did a zip Woo! line. Biggest candy, candy store in America. Store! Candy store! We were amazed by 150 different types of root beer. Still amazed by 200 different types of licorice. And then we messed around. Check it. <laughs> I saw a talking bear. You saw me there. You saw me there. <laughs> what, are you, some honey? what are you giving them? Honey. <laughs> I had some candy alligator and we'll spike Carrie's titties. <laughs> Brad and I went to Gay Pride. They gave me free candy. And I got a bar! <laughs> and a free apple. Brad, I got an apple! Watch this guy's dance moves for like a half hour. <laughs> Saw some stuff we didn't want to see. <laughs> we saw a guy dressed like a dog and I meowed at him. Yeah! Meow! And then I got shocked by a shock collar. Ah! <laughs> Finally, my mom ate some of those gross jelly beans and almost Did threw he eat up. It? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the Spark Notes version of my two weeks. So I did a whole bunch and I'm feeling a lot better. I think it's because I'm being active and doing new stuff that I haven't done in a long time. And so like depression's starting to feel a lot better. Just experiencing life again, that's what it feels like. And hanging out with my friends, which I don't get to do enough of because they don't live very close. 
there's a lesson to be learned there. <laughs> so the pole vault stuff's been kind of frustrating. With all these changes I've been making in time off, I've been trying to change my postural stuff because I've had kind of crummy posture and shoulders were hurting and my lower back was hurting. So um, in doing so, it kind of changed the way my mechanics work with my plant. So. I used to plant really well, like right in front of me a little bit. I always say I'm planting at 1 o'clock. But now since my posture is better, me planting at 1 o'clock is actually noon. And it's kind of making my plant late. So that's been kind of frustrating relearning how to do that. But things don't hurt where they used to. They hurt new places. Like my glutes are working more than they've ever worked before. And it's um, slowing down my progress. And I've actually, uh, it's keeping me out of some of these summer meets I planned on. So I don't know what meets I'll be doing because it's just really slow. So I had to back out of... Um, the lacrosse meet, which bummed me out because I really love that meet. That's how it goes. If you're hurt, you can't do it. So, Sean, what's Yeti and why? what were you doing with them? I don't understand why you're not just pole vaulting full time anymore. Well, I needed a change and pole vault was kind of killing me. So, uh, Sam Soholt, one of my best buddies in the whole entire world. So, I got hired on by Field Scout and uh, Field Scout was hired on by Yeti Coolers to travel around the country and talk about how awesome Yeti Coolers are. And it's really, really easy to do because they are really awesome coolers. I mean, they gave me this mug, and this will hold ice up to 36 hours. What? Amazing. But uh, their coolers will actually hold ice up to 7 to 10 days, which is absolutely insane. For people who hunt and fish and do all that kind of stuff, uh, you can't get a better cooler in the entire world. So it's really easy to talk about those, and it's fun, because I don't have to sell them. I just talk about how awesome they are, and I get to hang out and talk to people, which is what I like to do anyways. And I get paid for it. So I can't beat that, so I'm going to keep doing that for a while. Plus, Yeti Coolers are bear proof. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. And the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. Sam Soholt keeps saying he's going to get a bear-proof tattoo. But then he's afraid he's going to get killed by a bear, because that's probably what would happen. Ah. Yeti coolers. Check it out. They're pretty awesome. We were going to go to this ropes course, and um, while we are driving, we saw that there was Minnesota's world's biggest candy store. So since me, Brad, and Carrie are like little kids, we went to the candy store. So we were like kids in a candy store. <laughs> Carrie, you think they have taffy? <laughs> <laughs> Brad, you yeah. think they have taffy? I don't know, do they? Oh look, it's right there! Taffy! Taffy! Very <laughs> fun. <laughs> oh, Henry! <laughs> don't want it now. Stabbed you in the finger. <laughs> Kick your ass hot! <laughs> Kick your ass hot. <laughs> no, they're hot. <laughs> Kick my ass. <laughs> What'd you find? What'd you find? It's not big enough. You need something bigger. <laughs> Friends and family. Oh my <laughs> it's a pooper. And there's a poop right there. It's a plunger. I've gotten those before. They're really fun. You know what this store has an abundance of? Huh. Diabetes. Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Got to experience the biggest candy store in Minnesota. And then I bought this bag of candy. I spent way too much, and I don't even like candy that much, but they had sour stuff, and I'm a sucker for sour candy. I don't know. All of them? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Filmed it. But before we went to the candy store, we did a ropes course, and I absolutely love these high ropes courses. Carrie and I did one in Flagstaff, Minna, or Flagstaff, Arizona, and it was the coolest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Hey, Brad. What's up, man? It's one of my favorite things I've ever done, ever. And I'm not gonna lie, Flagstaff was way better than this one, but this one was still fun. Flagstaff. And I'm surprised they let me bring this, like, selfie stick up on the ropes course. Because it didn't seem very safe. And even at one point... The stick got caught on the cord. I'm in that split technique, which is very dangerous.
got it. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I thought I was gonna die. I'm surprised we didn't get kicked out of there either because I was doing stuff I shouldn't have done, and Brad was doing stuff he shouldn't have done. <laughs> Awesome. And you look good doing it. Look at the butt on that. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, look at the butt on that. <laughs> Carrie, Carrie, she's our girl. She can't do it. I don't know what rhymes with girl. <laughs> <laughs> this one's not that bad. <laughs> I'm not gonna fall. And like always, we were just having a lot of fun. And it was awesome. It was good for my soul and my brain. So Brad likes sour stuff just like I do. And so we decided we were going to eat some of the candy on the way home after the candy store. Smog balls. Sour ones. Smog balls. Boo! Yeah, that one's pretty good. Not sour at all. <laughs> you sour smog balls. Take your toxic sh Toxic waste. <laughs> I think you got a little nervous when I brought these ones. Those out. are sour. <laughs> those are bad. You won't be able to feel your tongue after those. <laughs> oh, my tongue's already you. What color did I get? Ew, watermelon. I hate watermelon. <laughs> Ready? Set. Go. Not that bad. There it goes. Oh. Hit me! It hit me! Oh. Those are toxically sour! Toxic waste. It's toxic waste. Yeah, backs of my tongues are like six I feel like a frog giving birth in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my tongue feels like it just burned a layer of skin off of it. Oh no. Straight, delicious. That was good. Too bad I can't taste anything anymore. God, my tongue hurts so bad. It feels like someone took razor blades and cut it a few times. Or it feels like someone took a sandblaster and sandblasted my tongue. <laughs> or it tastes like somebody took sheets of paper and paper cut in my tongue. Or, or <laughs> it feels like someone took a rusty fork and just rot on my tongue. <laughs> or it tastes like somebody sandpapered my tongue. <laughs> like, or it tastes like we were, <laughs> or, or it tastes like we were driving down the street at 30 miles an hour, just dragging my tongue on the asphalt. <laughs> or, or it tastes like someone burned out with a motorcycle and I licked the tire. <laughs> I think I'm running out. <laughs> or, or it tastes like I fell out of an airplane on the gravel and stopped myself with my tongue. <laughs> I don't got any more. <laughs> or it feels like someone broke glass and I tried to lick it up into a dustpan. Or I licked a porcupine, <laughs> but, <laughs> or a hedgehog, <laughs> or a bird just getting its feathers, all equally crappy to lick. <laughs> Carrie, we kind of duped her, We and she tried some candy too, but she absolutely hates sour stuff. So if you look closely in the background, she actually spits it out. <laughs> Like that? <laughs> is it mucky? I didn't want it to be sour. It's not sour. It's, it's oh, fizzy. Fucking sour. No, it's fucking fizzy. <laughs> and then last but not least, Brad and I went to Gay Pride. We've been into the Gay Pride parade in the past, and it's been absolutely insane. But this year it seemed very tame. Brad said the same thing, and we came to the conclusion that well. They're not really fighting for anything anymore. Everything's passed. You know, gay rights is all is everywhere. It's all 50 states now. So there's not like that big push and fight and that underdog kind of feel isn't there anymore, which is awesome and exciting because they don't have to do it anymore. We saw other stuff that was really cool, like old ladies holding signs that said, I never thought I would be alive to see this day. And that 
That tugs at your heart sleeves. So that was pretty fun. And my faith in humanity is now restored because of that, so. So that's it. I mean, I, I always plug my stuff, but if you guys are interested in me having to come to some camps, I'm gonna start uh, doing way more of those. So if you're interested, contact me. I'll tell you how I can help run a camp for you. Training, everybody who signed up for that three month training over the summer, which, I mean, you can start anytime. It's our second month, so congratulations for making it through a month. The videos are up on team hootcom under the members only section, so congratulations. We're in month two, and I'm sure you already feel better. I don't know about meats this summer, because I'm kind of got hurt a little bit, so I don't know if I'm going to do any more. We'll see. Next week, I'll make a video on depression about um, automatic negative thoughts. It's kind of been a big one that's helped me a lot in the past, and um, sometimes I think nobody cares about the depression vlogs, but then I get really cool emails saying something in there, you know, gave someone some hope that they don't feel alone. And then I'm like, yeah, that's exactly why I make them. And then I feel bad for not making one. So I will get back to making those. Oh, I just bought a sweet new computer that's going to make video editing way easier and faster and I can do cooler stuff with it. So get ready for some new updated vlogs. Okay, I love you. Or I just like you a whole bunch. Okay, bye. <laughs> ready? Go. I pole vaulted with Carrie. She jumped. I tried a new GoPro mount. I missed a bar. I knocked it down with the camera. But then I made a bar. I made it! With the camera and everything! Squish even played. I got attacked by a rabbit. Gave the rabbit a pedicure. Ate some jelly beans that tasted like skunk. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Looks like. <laughs> barf? That's barf. That's definitely <laughs> barf. Booger? Tastes like someone else's loogie. It's not too bad, but... It wasn't a bad booger. No. <laughs> Rotten eggs. <laughs> that was what? That's disgusting. And I even liked a dog. And that dog tasted like boogers. Watched the high school sections meet. Ate a giant watermelon at the meat. Got super weird looks. Want some? Hung out with the Eagles crew. Thanks, John. I hurt my piriformis. Piriformis is in your butt, so I hurt my butt. I had a pain in my butt. I took 10 days off. Mostly biked. Biked some more. Then I biked some more. And then I just biked some more. I took the personality test, the process communication therapy model. Finally got back to four lefts. And here we are today.